Welcome to the opinionated Helix configuration. Thanks for the feedback to my last video and therefore we will also have a quick look into my Helix configuration. Cursor line is just the visual grayish line. The auto pairs are usually disabled because I don't want to have brackets automatically closed. The true color is kind of um, enhancement based on your terminal, what you are using. You can use Kitty, for example, which also supports true color. I use electricity. The buffer line multiple, the cursor line actually is, it go, gives the diagnostic of the least um, defined um, error type. So hint is like the smallest, and that means everything will be like underneath when I get the error. The editor cursor shape is just a small highlight. What I like to do um, when I'm in insert mode, I want to see like a small bar. If I'm in the normal mode, I want to see the block. And if I'm in selected mode, I want to see it as an underline. So for example, if I press now um, V for visual, then basically this one will change. Instead of normal, it will highlight visual. When I go in the insert mode, it will, of course, go to the insert mode. Um, and if I press V, as you see here, select mode. Um, <clears throat> so that means in the status line on the left side, I show always the mode and next to it a spinner. So if the language server protocol is still loading or the language server is still loading, a small loading indicator is shown. In the center, I want to see the file name. And then next to the right, I show diagnostic information, selection, positions, um, like line and um, um, column, the file encoding, the file ending, and file type. I also renamed a bit the, the naming of the different modes, um, just to make them capital. That's just a personal preference because I'm so used to Vim, and that helped me transition faster to the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> the guides is just this grayish area, what you see here, or line. So that you have this indentation um, helpers. That's useful when you have bigger HTML files or other descriptive documents that you see, like JSON structures and so on, that you see what is the parent of something. Um, then these kind of extensions with the percent, the, the star, the, the hash symbol, and the dollar are just like normal Vim modes and I use them so much that I just wanted to use this muscle memory and therefore I, I added kind of simplified um, Vim mechanics on top of that because I personally like to work with them. So for example, matching brackets, percentage, the star, I can go to the next result. If I go to the hash, I go back with the dollar, I go to the end of the line. Um, and so on. That one the, with the control E was actually the YASI conf, uh, configuration, what we did in the previous video. And one thing I like is also this toggle the display in, inlay hints. And that can be accessed through the space menu. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.